Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a little girl who lived with her mommy and her daddy and her little brother Timmy in a little blue house at the end of a long gravel driveway next to a forest. The little girl loved to play in the forest. There were trails that went through the trees that she could explore with ferns and frogs and sometimes she could even see a deer or a raccoon or an opossum. One of the things she loved most though was her special pond. There was a spring in the forest that had a creek that came right down by the house and her daddy dug out a part of the woods and made a pond where the little girl and her friends could play. And one day the little girl and her friend were playing by the pond catching salamanders when the daddy came by and he had a wheelbarrow, a red wheelbarrow, and in it it had big cement blocks. Daddy, Daddy, what are you doing? Well, the daddy said, you're just gonna have to wait and see. And pretty soon he put those blocks on the ground and he started building something really exciting. It was a playhouse. It was a two story tall playhouse. The bottom floor had a door that could open and close and the top floor had a door that could open and close and it had real glass windows. And coming off from the top floor was a porch that you could stand on and you could get a rope swing and swing out over the pond and back to the porch and out over the pond and back to the porch. You could scramble from the little porch over to a tree that had a platform on it and climb up that tree to another platform where there was a zip line. You could take a zip line out flying across the pond and across the yard to the barn. The playhouse was so much fun and one of the little girl's favorite places to play as she was growing up. She played in with her little friends when they were little and as they got older, they had sleepovers when she was in the fifth and sixth grade. And as she got older, she even kissed her boyfriend in the playhouse. But as all things go, the little girl grew up and one day she moved back to the town where the little blue house at the long, end of the long gravel driveway was because she wanted to be able to have her own kids and have them be able to play at the forest at the little blue house. And sure enough, she had two little girls of her very own. And her older girl, when she was four years old, loved to play in mommy's playhouse with her papa and they would have tea parties and they would play in the rope swing and they would explore the pond. Oh, it was so much fun. The little girl was so happy and the mommy was happy that her little girl could enjoy the playhouse too. Well, one winter day, there was a big winter storm. In Oregon, in the winter time, the storms have lots of cold rain. Sometimes it even snows and there's ice and the wind blows and blows and blows and it comes from all different directions with great big, huge gusts. The gusts sometimes are so big that you can stand and lean into them and it will hold you up into a straight standing position because the wind is blowing so hard. Well, this particular storm was a really extra big one. And the mommy and the daddy took their two little girls over to the grandma and grandpa's house, the blue house at the edge of the forest to stay during the storm. And as they were in the house, there was no electricity. And they were looking outside and they could hear loud creaking sounds and look and see, and there were trees falling in the woods. And as they stood there and looked out, all of a sudden they saw one of the tallest trees start to fall down. And as it fell, the mommy was concerned because right in its path was the playhouse. And sure enough, that tree went crunch right on top of the playhouse. It didn't just hit the side of the playhouse or near the playhouse. It was right in the middle of the playhouse and it turned that playhouse into little itty bitty tiny pieces of wood. Oh, the mommy was so sad. Her little girl wasn't going to get to play in the playhouse anymore. But the little girl looked at her mommy and she said, Mommy, that's okay. My papa will build me a new one and it's going to have electricity. She had so much hope and confidence in her papa. She knew that the spring and the summer were going to come again and her papa will be able to build a brand new playhouse just the way she liked it. It wouldn't be mommy's playhouse anymore. It would be her playhouse. And sure enough, the summer came and there was Papa with his old red wheelbarrow with bricks in it. And he put those bricks down on the ground and he built a playhouse just the way his granddaughter liked it. And sure enough, it had electricity in it, just like she wanted. 
the little girl was so happy. She knew her papa was going to be able to make everything right. Boys and girls, we are living in sometimes it seems like a great big storm of life, but we can have confidence that our Papa, our Heavenly Father, sees us, knows us, loves us, and we can have hope that he's going to come again to take us home. And in our Heavenly home, he has a home, a house that he's building just for each one of us, just the way he likes it. Maybe yours will have a special porch with a rope swing and a zip line. I don't know, but your Heavenly Father knows what you like, and we can have the hope and the confidence that he's going to come again and take us to be with him forever and ever.